Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today we're talking about a weapon that doesn't care how stealthy or advanced your enemy is, because this thing shoots first and asks questions later. Meet the Phalanx CIWS, the US Navy's last ditch defense system that turns incoming missiles into flaming confetti. The Phalanx CIWS, short for Close-In Weapon System, was developed by General Dynamics in the 1970s as a response to the growing threat of anti-ship missiles during the Cold War. Before Phalanx, navies had no reliable way to stop a supersonic missile once it locked on. Missiles like the Soviet-made P-15 Termit were fast, cheap, and deadly, and they could sink billion-dollar warships with a single hit. Phalanx changed the game. Fully automated, radar-guided, and packing a 20 millimeter rotary cannon capable of firing up to 110 rounds per second, it became the ship's final shield when everything else failed. First deployed in the early 80s, it's still in service today across multiple navies, including the US, Japan, South Korea, and NATO allies. So how does it work? Think of Phalanx as a robotic shotgun with perfect aim. Once it detects an incoming threat via its onboard radar, it locks on, calculates trajectory, and opens fire, all within seconds. It uses a six-barrel M61 Vulcan Gatling gun, firing armor-piercing tungsten rounds at a muzzle velocity of over 100 by 100 meters per second. That's faster than most rifles, and it spits out bullets like a metal hurricane. But here's the kicker. Phalanx doesn't try to destroy the missile cleanly. It aims to destabilize it, hit the wings, the fins, the guidance system, anything to make it miss its target. And more often than not, it works. During the Gulf War in 1991, Phalanx successfully intercepted Iraqi silkworm missiles. In 2016, off the coast of Yemen, it helped defend US ships from Iranian-backed Houthi attacks. Real combat proof that this old school system still has teeth. Oh, and one more thing. If you're anywhere near it when it fires, you better cover your ears. The roar is deafening, and the muzzle blast can knock people off their feet. Now let's get real. Phalanx isn't perfect. On the plus side, it's fast, reliable, and fully autonomous. No need for human input once it's locked on. It's also been battle-tested for decades and remains a trusted layer in layered air defense systems. But there are downsides. First, it only works at short range, usually under two kilometers. If the missile gets that close, you're already in big trouble. Second, the 20 millimeter round isn't always enough to guarantee a kill. Some modern supersonic and maneuvering missiles can still slip through, especially in poor weather conditions or electronic warfare environments. Third, cost and logistics. Each burst burns through hundreds of rounds. Ammo isn't cheap and resupply during extended operations can be a pain. Newer systems like the CRAM and directed energy laser weapons are starting to outperform Phalanx in certain scenarios. But despite that, Phalanx remains in active service because even in a world of AI and drones, sometimes brute force just works. So what do you think? Is the Phalanx CIWS a legendary last line of defense or a noisy relic clinging to relevance? Either way, it's hard to argue with a machine that can turn the sky into shrapnel in seconds. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Would you trust your life to this spinning wall of lead? And if you like this breakdown, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss another deep dive into the world of insane military tech. Thanks for watching, folks. Your support helps us keep bringing you detailed, factual, and occasionally explosive military content. Keep those suggestions coming. Who knows? Your next comment might inspire our next video.